This is the Iceland Walk. Look at that. Good morning. <laughs> the car is now broken down. With my goal of traveling the world this year, Iceland seemed a pretty good place to start. So it started as any trip would. We bought the first tickets out. <laughs> Mate, good to meet you. That's us in the van at the moment. Looking good. And we're heading off to Kirkabell. Kirkabell, we're heading to Kirkabell. So we've got the snacky drawer. We are just settling in for the night. We're gonna take some long exposures of Kirkafell, which is just outside. This is the little van we're staying in, and then it folds down to become like a, a three-man bed. So this is where we're sleeping tonight. I'm being a mother and setting up all the beds for everyone. <laughs> morning, guys. It is um, eight in the morning at the moment. We slept in the van last night. It's pretty broken sleep, but it wasn't terrible. The heater turned off in the middle of the night, and it just, it fucking dropped to like, Minus three in like like a minute. We managed to get the stove working. We're gonna have a little coffee. Yeah. And a bit of breakfast. What's happened? Someone scratched took my hands. <laughs> this is day one. This is the Iceland vlog. We have just arrived at our new Airbnb, so we're probably gonna get four Airbnbs to like charge up equipment and all that kind of stuff. Why is the cat in the Airbnb? What do we, what do, we do? The northern lights seem to be showing around Iceland, so we're gonna go down to Godafoss and see if we can see them. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when it came to seeing the northern lights, I didn't get my hopes up. I knew they were rare, but what happened next will live with me forever. The fucking lights, we got them! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Woo! You just got some incredible northern lights. That is unbelievable what you just saw. The lack of sleep is really starting to get to me. Good morning everyone. So after the northern lights last night, we're gonna head to the same waterfall for sunrise. The clouds are actually making a big sort of gap. There's like a big blue gap gap in the clouds, so hopefully we get we get a good sunrise, so let's go. My turn to drive. We've just arrived at this waterfall, and check this out. has just finished up at the waterfall. It's absolutely insane. We've actually, there's like ice forming over the lens, which is crazy. It's just so cold. And... <laughs> Good morning. Right, we are in the car and we're gonna head over to Hingifoss. There's this amazing waterfall with kind of red stone running through it. We have just arrived at Hingifoss. We're literally just sitting in the car park at the moment. It is pouring down and the way here, the ice was just crazy on the road, so we have to be really careful. We're making a little bit of dinner. I think Matty's making his boiled eggs, Chef Matty. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, like some bo boiled eggs and beans. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna have some boiled eggs and beans and then we're up for sunrise tomorrow to go and photograph Hengi Foss. No astrophotography for tonight because the weather is shit. <laughs> is that my accent? No, no, that one. I fucking tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the next day we got up early and went to see Hengi Foss. We are just on our way to Hengi Foss at the moment. We're just climbing up this and it's icy as shit. We're on the edge of a cliff. That, that is a storm moving in. And it's fair to say, we were unsuccessful. We've just got to the waterfall and a storm has rolled in. This storm is absolutely not sleet and snow. It's so cold. We were determined not to let that storm ruin our day. So we headed down to the coast and planned to shoot on the way. Problem was, the coast was not close by.
I'm actually, I'm gonna go in front of the car so that you can actually see me. Kind of parked on this massive beach with the mountains in the background. So we're gonna wait here overnight. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but that, that's the rain and the wind. What the hell? Mate, that's crazy. It's blowing a massive gale. Snow is sticking to the side of the car. So Matty very kindly made us sandwiches. The freezer has been turned on or the fridge has been turned down too low. The ham's all frozen. <laughs> It's kind of crunchy. <laughs> Morning guys. Last night was a very broken night's sleep. We literally had like 70, 80 mile an hour winds. There was like sleet and snow coming down and it was just smacking off the side of the van. It was just absolutely crazy. Oof, what a morning. We took as many photos as we could in the extreme winds, but after Estrahorn, we decided to go to Vestrahorn where we had a little more luck. Just finished up at Vestrahorn. It was incredible. We're going to be posting all the photos and reels and all the rest of it on our Instagrams, all links below. Now we're going to go to the Airbnb. A shower as well, because we haven't showered in three days. We smell fantastic. <laughs> the Airbnb for tonight. I think the lack of sleep is really catching up to us. We're all absolutely pooped. But take a look at this. We just opened the door and look at the snow. Good morning, everyone. I'm not sure if you can see, but my eyes are really, really swollen just because of how tired I am. Today, we are going to the Diamond Beach and the huge glacier behind it. And then we're circling back to get a clear night on Estrahorn. Cutest dog, look. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh look, smiling. look at him. Smiling thing. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you. That's us just packing up to go and the puppies come to say bye. We have arrived at the Diamond Beach and it is so windy but we're going to try and get some vlog exposures just here and get the drone up as well. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And this is the point where things began to go a little bit wrong. <laughs> Firstly, we all got soaked and Matty's bag got covered in black sand and water. And he's just getting all the sand out of it. That literally just dropped out of it. He's just brushing the black sand off my feet. How'd that happen? That is us back in the car after getting absolutely soaked. My drone bag literally got taken away by the sea. Thank God it's waterproof. Just floating around in the, in the tide. Now we're gonna head to the Glacier Lagoon, hopefully get the drone up because we couldn't drone down the beach. <laughs> How good is that? It's really good. <laughs> Maltese are spread. Mm. Peng. When we were in the supermarket, I spotted, or we spotted, some creative cool ideas. <laughs> so we've got lightsabers. We're going to take them to the beach. <laughs> and we're going to try long expose with these and see how it goes. Morning, everyone. That is us just woken up at Vestrahorn. We slept here in the van last night. I actually got quite a good night sleep-ish. Alex has just done coffee and porridge duty. And then we are off to shoot the sunrise at Vesterhorn. The second problem was that morning we had an incredible sunrise, but the winds were at 70 miles an hour. Black sand got into my drone and started screwing with the gimbal. <laughs> Top 
tip for anyone flying on the Black Sands beach is that Black Sand is actually magnetic, so it will screw up your drone. Do not land it like I did on the Black Sand. My gimbal's pretty screwed. I'm managing to like fight through it, but a lot of the shots are not coming out great. And then we broke down. An emergency warning come up in the car. We might be breaking down in 45 kilometers. <laughs> the car is breaking down at the moment. Alex's foot is full on the pedal and we're rolling. So we're out of AdBlue, which is a, it's like a thing that goes into the, the, the diesel to purify it. The engine now won't go beyond 20 kilometers an hour. My foot's to the floor. So we need to get to the nearest fuel station, which is gonna take two and a half hours at our current rate. The car can only go at 20 kilometers an hour now. <laughs> All of this, of course, was very sad, and while Alex and Matt tried to fix the car, I helped by getting some cool hand shots out the window. We arrived at the petrol station to find a horrific discovery. So we arrived at the fuel station and there's no ad blue. Just when we thought all hope was lost, Alex put his hitchhiking expertise to the test. These two legends over here are driving us to the nearest fuel stop to get AdBlue. We've been saved. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> it's a new day here in Iceland, and we stayed in this beautiful little cabin last night in Airbnb. It was much needed. Take a look at the weather. It's snowing like mad. We're gonna go to the Black Sand Beach and the abandoned plane wreck today. I'm not sure you can see my breath. I can actually see my breath in the car, and it's like a snowstorm outside. It's really coming down. We just finished shooting at Skogafoss. We managed to actually get the drone up really, really quick. Good morning, everybody. It is our last day here in Iceland. Last day, how'd you feel? I'm sad. That is the land you And just like that, our time in Iceland was over. It was the best of times. My fucking lights were gone! Look at that! <laughs> yeah. Good morning! The worst of times. This storm is absolutely nuts. The engine now won't go beyond 20 kilometers an hour. The front has blown a massive gale. So the car is now broken down. It was the Iceland vlog. So for the last time, my name is Harrison, and it's not goodbye, it's until next time.